Hey, good evening, everyone. I think the book of uh, Galatians is a pretty safe bet. I've been led to it twice today. Uh, should be the Holy Spirit leading me there. So maybe it's a little section, a little piece of scripture, uh, maybe a little nugget that somebody wants to uh, needs to hear today. So um, we'll start from there and see where it goes. And uh, the word. My translation, depending upon uh, what translation you have, uh, the word spirit in here is ruach, and that's a Hebrew translation. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, but let him, okay, we've got Galatians chapter 6, verses 6 through 10, and like I said, the verse may be a little different depending upon your translation. But... Let him who is taught in the word share all good things with him who teaches. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked, for whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Ruach will from the Ruach reap eternal life. So basically that's saying whatever, whatever you do in your lifetime your body whether it's good or bad you're gonna reap it and the contrast here is your spirit whatever you put in spending time with Abba Father in prayer building up your faith trusting in him daily praying reading the word you know, not only getting the word in your mind, but getting it in your heart. What you also reap in your spirit, I mean, what you sow in your spirit, you're going to reap in your spirit. And so moving on, I mean, basically the end, the end goal for reaping in your spirit is to reap eternal life. And not eternal punishment. Let us not be weary in doing good. And, you know, I'm thinking maybe that's the part that somebody needs to hear right now. And, you know, whoever is listening to this, don't be weary. You know, keep keep pressing on. Keep, keep running. Keep running that race. For we will reap in due season if we do not give up. So then, as we have opportunity, let us do what is good toward all men and especially toward those who are of the household of faith. The household of faith. Um, you know, I, what led me to this, too, is I wanted to check out, you know, Fruits of the Spirit. Um, I'm not going to say too much right now. Um, I am thinking about writing a book. I don't have all the details yet. I'm trying to lay a foundation for it right now. Um, I want to say it could be geared toward mainly men for um, young men, older men. Middle-aged men. The audience I'm kind of focusing it around is middle-aged men. Um, but that's uh, that's kind of where I'm going right now. Like I said, I uh, don't have all the details worked out yet, but I've been a lot of things have been on my mind, and I need your prayers. Definitely, I need your prayers for direction, for patience, for uh, temperance, for wisdom, for sure. And I could always use prayers for uh, more faith. So uh, keep me in your prayers, guys. All right.